Welcome back. Now, football season is here. Or tonight, as Dr. Quinn would say, he's joining us right now to share exciting research findings on how watching sports can make you both happier and healthier. So, Dr. Quinn, what is the research identifying as beneficial from watching our favorite teams on television? Well, you know, Todd, it is so exciting. I mean, tonight, the football season starts. And, you know, a lot of people are excited about it, but as a medical provider, I can give you some insight of what's being discovered in the research as far as watching sports and the medical benefits. Now, first, I want to note that psychological benefits are phenomenal. Right now, a lot of people are stressed. I mean, the pandemic is, is coming a little better, but we're still very stressed, a lot of economic stress. We've had the floods, we have the water situation, but with sports, you have something to look forward to. And this increases your overall, overwhel overwhelming feeling of happiness and just feeling better about things. But what it does is it lower, lowers those stress hormones. And if you're somebody that might have some depression or anxiety, it's decreased and you just feel better. But also physically, when you're cheering for your team, you're moving around, you're getting your blood flowing, that also helps with your blood pressure, um, your diabetes, just that activity. And then lastly, the fact that your stress is down because you're not thinking about all those stressful things, that lowers your cortisol, which is those stress hormones, and that helps also with hypertension, heart disease, and blood pressure. So let's get ready for football season. All right. Now, you have mentioned stress decrease, watching uh, sports, but have you, see, have you seen this type of improvement in your patients now, Dr. Quinn, in regards to well, sports viewing? Most definitely. I'm just so excited. I had a patient just last week and she's getting ready for the season. She's headed to Memphis this weekend for Jackson State. And she said, Dr. Quinn, I, I'm ready to get in shape. She's motivated. She has something to look forward to. And, and she, she wants to eat healthier. And I've been bu bugging her for like over a year, but now she's ready. So it helps people just having that positive feeling, something to look forward to. They're motivated to get in better physical condition, but, but also, you know, taking their medication. When people are happier, they're more compliant. Take their medication, follow up, and just have a more positive outlook on life. All right. What about some healthy habits, Dr. Quinn, that you advise for our viewers when getting ready for Football Sunday? Well, here's the deal. Melissa and I, we, we, we cheat a little bit for the football games on Sunday. You know, we might just have some, maybe one beverage that might be a little more calories than water. And that's okay, as long as you practice moderation. If you want to get those wings, just do it with moderation and maybe have the vegetables with the wings instead of the chips or either or, but, but just don't overdo it. And then before the game, it's a good idea to go ahead and get your exercise in. We'll, we'll maybe go jogging or ride our bikes, just do something to get moving and understand that during the game, it's okay to, like I said, just have a little bit of fun, but moderation. And if you do indulge in uh, beverages that could impair your judgment, make sure that you don't drive home. And other than that, just enjoy yourself and get ready for football season because tonight is the first game of the NFL season. There you go. It's all about moderation balance. Thank you so much, Dr. Quinn.